A lot of players channel BB King and play as Licks when playing the Blues, and when they do, you can pretty much guarantee they're gonna be sitting up in the BB box doing this sort of thing. And it makes sense, as BB spent a bunch of time in these spots himself over the course of his career. But people forget about the jazzier side of BB, the side that was inspired by guys like Charlie Christian and Django Reinhardt, the side that produces lines like these. <laughs> Now that is some genius blues guitar playing that you won't hear every single day. Let's dive in on one of these in particular and break it down and see how you can incorporate it into your own bag of tricks. Have a close listen to this example right here. And this is the one we're gonna be looking at today. This is from How Blue Can You Get 1972 Live at Sing Sing Prison. And I've broken this whole solo down before on the channel, but I really thought it was worth zooming in on this one lick because I think this encapsulates this era of BB King better than any other lick. He was playing a lot jazzier. He was playing with um, the Charlie Christian and Django Reinhardt influences. He was wearing those on his sleeves where later on in his career, he was sitting more up in the BB King boxes and taking his time a little more. But this is fiery BB King. So we're playing in the key of D major here, but obviously you can move this to any key that you're working in. It's got to be a major key. And this lick leads into the five and plays over the five chord as it goes down to the four in the progression. So let's quickly go over the timing for this lick. All right, so the timing for this one is pretty simple. You want to lead in with the slide. And when you bend that 12th fret up, that is exactly when the band is going to hit on that downbeat on the five chord. So to do that, on the tail end of the one chord before going to the five, we will count it like this. One, two, three, 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 one. And get into the lick just like that. All right, let's play this over a backing track so you can really see what the fingers are doing. So that is a great ear catching lick to get you over the five chord going down to the four. And if you listen to a lot of these early 70s BB King performances, you're gonna find that he plays a lot more chromatic runs and chord tone soloing than he does later in his career. By the time he's the elder statesman, he does sit in that BB box a lot more often. But early 70s, he was flying. His plane was fluid and he was adding a lot of these jazz influences that we talked about earlier into his plane. This is a great era to steal from because I don't think a lot of guys are doing it. You're not going to hear these at every single blues jam you go to. And if you do whip this out in the middle of a blues, you're definitely going to turn some heads. That is all the time I have for you this week. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. What is your favorite BB King like? This has got to be my top three anyways. Let me know down in the comments if you got your own and I'll break it down for you in the coming weeks. Once again, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.